two others. So let's get it, get it, see what we can uncover. The two others, so let's get it, get it, see what we can uncover.
Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Chad. How you doing? Hi, nice. How are you? You turn. <laughs> uh. Hope you've been been okay. Oh Lord, there's so much has happened since last stream. It really feels like it's been months, <laughs> but it's been like less than a week, exactly a week. I don't know. Oh God, had a bit of a, a long week of classes and stuff, and now I am dog sitting. Sims was supposed to come pick something up, but I don't know when or if she's coming now. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you know, Sims Sims does as she pleases. As she a shimps? A Sims shows up. Not when she's expected, but when she's needed. <laughs> or whatever the fuck the Gandalf quote is. <laughs> or at the right time, whatever it is, I don't know. Um, but yeah, when a whale seems appears, literally. <laughs> Wait, did she, she sh just showed up? Or do you mean, like, that's what happens? Because <laughs> that would be hilarious if you complained that she just showed up. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, like, that's what happens, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I went to do house set and take care of doggos from some friends. You may have seen in them on the Discord, there are a couple very lovely huskies. And on the first day, on the last time that I take them for a walk, basically these people have... Uh... God damn it, Pinch. I hate you. <laughs> you should, they're so cute. Um... Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yes, uh, like they, they have like a walkway out their door, and I went out that way instead of going through the deck on the back to the like patio, backyard, I guess, whatever it is. Um, and there's like a like a path that's on an incline and Gemma, one of the dogs, just starts pulling really all of a sudden uh, when I'm like distracted by something or whatever and I completely lose my footing and I start like rushing forward along with her and then she sees me like kind of sprinting or running or whatever and she's like oh shit it's time let's go and she starts pulling even harder until I fucking just fell and hit my knee on the pavement and rolled like three or four times until I hit like a patch of grass <laughs> and dirt. Uh, so my leg's pretty fucked up. It's been very annoying. Uh, moving it is a pain. Currently on ibuprofen to, to help with inflammation and the pain. <laughs> Because uh, otherwise, I don't think I would be able to stream. Uh, and not that I'm doing it for stream. Like, literally, as soon as I came back, it was hurting a lot. <laughs> so it's just a, a benefit. Um, pills from Hurtney Island? Yes. <laughs> uh, but then, the that was on... Thursday? Shit, that was on Thursday. It's been three days? Damn. Uh, oh, was it on Friday? It might have been on Friday. I... Oh, wait, today is Saturday. Shit, yeah, it was two days ago. Well... <laughs> also, hey, Double Brook. Yes, how are you? Uh, well, you don't technically see me, uh, Double Brook, but I, I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the other the other two days we went, and since on Thursday I had a bunch of classes in the afternoon, we basically went in the morning, left, and came back at night to like feed them two times a day, take them out for a walk two times a day. I see you in my mind's eye. Oh my god, I'm scared. 
I didn't know you were psychic. This is terrifying. I, I need to get more dressed. Not that I am undressed, but I could be more dressed. <laughs> um, anywho. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the other two days have been pretty good. Uh, other than the pain and stuff. Uh, I've been more careful with them during walks and stuff. That t-shirt is in your color, definitely. <laughs> um, and um, actually, I had a couple times where the doggos just sat, or one of the doggos sat next to me to sleep in the couch while we were watching World Cup games and stuff, uh, which was so so nice, so lovely. Uh, also, the the one that pulled me and got me injured has been peeing over the floor and shit all the fucking time. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, she pees like a machine. <laughs> only only when inside, though. Not when I take her outside. That That's a pain to get her to do anything outside. Other than, like, smelling stuff and then fighting her brother. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I've been having to clean a lot of pee. Pick up poop, which I didn't used to do back when I had my dog. Uh, it's not something that was like much of a thing back home in general. Uh, until around the time she left. Um, but yeah, it's been good. Argentina made it to the next phase. They're gonna be playing Netherlands on Friday. Uh, I am mostly. Uh, is that bivalent the word? Like I don't I don't care too much. Uh the only reason I really care is because it would be nice for like Messi to win a World Cup. Uh and there's a few other players I like in the team, but overall, like in terms of like oh being like supported even because it's Argentina, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Not anymore. Haven't for a long time. Also, I am dropping so many frames. What is happening? Internet, hello? Uh, no, Netherlands have never won a World Cup. <laughs> they were... The closest they were was in 78, which is the first World Cup Argentina won. Uh, and that was a, an interesting time. Like, it was during the military coup in Argentina, and like the star player for Netherlands had his family kidnapped. Uh, and got told to not play the game to get his family back, and so he didn't, and they lost. It was a uh, very interesting time. <laughs> uh, you know, FIFA FIFA does really have a history of um, running tournaments at the best times in the best places, you know? Uh, they just they love it. They love a good regime. Set the to, to do the World Cup in. Holy, why am I losing all of the frames? Oh no. My internet hasn't been an issue for a while. Why is this happening now? Let me do a, a speed test. Because I've already dropped like 10% of all the frames. It's just that it's pretty good. What about the upload? Like, the download is fairly stuck at like 40. And the upload is surely is a bit better, but it's not certainly not awful. Oh, there it's dropping. Oh no. Well, it seems okay now. So, I'm just gonna pray. And if anything happens, let me know and I may just like restart the PC or something. Because usually it works fine. This is the internet. Um. Radia, how have you been, Dovrook? Hope you've been good. Hope you've been good. 
Oh, also, I saw Wednesday. I watched all of Wednesday since last stream. Fucking amazing. Fully recommend. I hope that they keep making more of it, and if they do, it will basically be the next Harry Potter for me. Like, I love the setting. Uh, the, the ideas behind the world and how they're doing everything is just so good. Uh, it's also set around like a school setting and there's multiple <laughs> creatures and stuff. And there, as there's always been in the Atoms, like they have Frankenstein and there's vampires and shit. Uh, it's very cool. I, I really dig it. Very, very good. Uh, and the, the actress that played, uh, what's her face? Wednesday is amazing. I love her. She's so cool. Anywho, let's please please refresh uh, since the the stream seems to have stabilized because you're probably a little bit behind. So I will start loading the game. So by the time you refresh, we will hopefully be in it, <laughs> or you won't miss anything of importance. I forget that Amazon Games has to launch every single fucking time first. So there's like an awkward silence. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, I think this should be getting captured right now. I think? Question mark? Need to get my phone. Yeah, so let's get captured. Nice. Looks good. Thank you. I was literally about to just randomly say, Hey, nice, you're a turd. And then you were, like, actually helpful. <laughs> so I appreciate it. But also, hey, nice, you're a turd. I love you still. You're great. <laughs> Uh, okay, I was preparing my phone. Wow! <laughs> oh wait, not save and load, because that's right. Rude. Wow. Yeah, because you've, you've never been rude to me, ever. Oh wait, what's the name of this chapter? Lair of the Leviathan. Oh, that's right! True, I should say you're excellent. Great is too little. Um... That's right, we were eaten by like a whale or something, right? Where am I tripping? I feel like we were eaten by something. It is said that we are never so vulnerable than when we trust. But paradoxically, if we cannot trust, neither can we find our heart's desire. Guybrush Treepwood, trusting in his voodoo spell, unleashes a pox on the Caribbean. He escapes from Flotsam Island to pursue his wife Elaine and to find a cure to the pox that infects them both. Oh, no. On the Jerkbait Islands, Guybrush finds Elaine together with his arch enemy Lechak. With deep reluctance, Guybrush trusts his wife with the former ghost pirate and seeks the cure on his own. Hunted by the lethal Morgan Lafley, Tripwood must right his wrong by finding La Esponja Grande. For the Pox is transforming the seas into a treacherous beast. Uh oh. And the beast is hungry. Tales of Monkey Island. Well, you better believe it, sister. <laughs> Wait, believe what? What? All right, it was a giant fucking manatee, not a whale. <laughs> oh my god. Man, that is a D. Indeed. <laughs> Uh. Guybrush? 
I'm taking you in. I'm sorry, I'm inside a manatee at the moment. Uh... Look behind you! Oh, I've heard that one before. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> well done, sir. Walked the bonny bounty huntress right into a trap. You have to admire her stick to itiveness. She's out cold. Good. We need to get back on the track to finding La Esponja Grande. I'm gonna go find a way out of here. Preferably through the front door. Not the, uh, <clears throat> service entrance. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on Miss LaFlay. If she stirs, I'll give her the old scurvy buttons. What? I don't want to know what that is. This stomach looks so weird. <laughs> She's out cold, sir. Th this stomach looks like this manatee had too many Honey Nut Cheerios for its own health. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. I've got me eye on Miss LaFlay. The Narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. Um... The Narwhal's cannon. While it lacks firepower, it does look scary. <laughs> what? An encampment. Talk about roughing it. Better go check it out. Um, hello? Excuse me? What is this? An adventurer from the outside? Who, Who are, are you? you? I'm, I'm Guybrush Streetwood. De Cava. Mighty, mighty explorer. De Cava, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in here? I'm on my way to a very important artifact, to be acquired for a very important woman. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're stuck inside of an overgrown sea mammal. You're not on your way anywhere. <laughs> Heavens no! I'm not stuck! Quite the contrary! It's all part of the plan of the ocean gods. The mouth of the manatee leads me to the artifact, the seahorses led the mouth to me. Just as I freed myself from the brig of Fat Island by bribing the guard for his bootlace, stringing him up with a pulley fashioned from a stale scone, and then growing at my toenails over the course of a year in order to carefully carve them into a lock-picking kit, I, Coronado de Cava, will walk out of this beast when the time is right! And I... what is that? I'm on a bit of a timetable. When we arrive at the sacred manatee mating grounds! Oh, bro. Oh. That sounds uh, interesting. Hey Tata, how you how you doing? Welcome in. Yeah, that that'll happen. <laughs> that'll certainly happen. How long have you been in here? Years. This journey has been even longer than expected, but the exploration is fraught with unforeseen hurdles yearning to be hurdles. You made a lock picking kit out of toenails? That's right. You didn't try the tempt the guard dog with a bone trick? Bah, that's for amateurs. <laughs> I have a feeling that they want to like insinuate that these two are related somehow. So I have this locket I'm supposed to give to you. Oh, oh my. I haven't seen this locket for some years. She's just as I remember. Where did you... What is this? Oh! Treepwood, it is I. Yikes. Well done. You have found Coronado de Cava and are one step closer to La Esponja Grande. De Cava and his crew will prove indispensable on your quest. And while the puck spreads with every passing moment, you must tread lightly, Guybrush. Years of searching for the sponge have made De Cava unstable. He was always a bit of a sensitive soul, so please. I implore you, do not mention me. Do not mention La Esponja. And whatever you do, do not tell him where you acquired his love. Uh oh. Where did you get this? Who sent you? What are you doing here? Shit. <laughs> I, um. I. Shit. Uh. The Voodoo Lady gave me the locket and told me to find you so I could track down La Esponja Grande for her so we could cure. She what? Me dio! That's two-timing soothsaying strumpet! Huh? 
La esponja is to be mine to give to her as a gargantuan absorbent symbol of my fiery passion. I'm gone for two seconds and she's making time with a prepubescent picaron. No, no, it's not like that. Eesh, no way. We're hardly even friends. Right. A friend who she gives an invaluable sentimental locket. I bet she never sends you on any quests either. Um... Uh, no. I mean, from time to time she tells me what to do and where to go with little or no context, that but... That sounds like a quest. <laughs> she used to give me quests. I thought I was a special. Has she ever made you a voodoo doll? No. I don't believe you! <laughs> Have you held her in your arms? What? No! I'm married! Look! I don't say a ring, Senior Lybrush. I left it with my other hand. <laughs> I'll kill you. Uh oh. I'm not after the Voodoo Lady's heart or La Esponja Grande. Then why are you here? Um, vacation. Is that so? Yes. Honeymooning, in fact. With your invisible wife? My very real wife. Uh, let me just go get her. Oh, God. I shall await her alleged arrival with tantalizing disbelief. Oh, no. We're going to have to convince Laflaine to play her wife. Oh, no. This this will definitely end. Well, what the fuck? Ew. A slimy grub. Why did you say ew and put it in your fucking jacket? Ugh. Winslow, I need to revive Morgan and present her to Dekava as my fake wife. My, that reminds me of the time when... Now, Winslow, Dekava's crazy. <laughs> Very well. I'm well trained in naval first aid. Do as I say. First things first. Take her pulse and see if she's alive. She's moving. What? She might be dead? You never know about these things. Her wrist, Captain. Uh. I have such fond memories of that blade held to my throat. Ah. Uh. Those were good times. Well, I was trying to get it out of the way, just in case, but sure. Very good. Her pulse is strong. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. This is for Chugbender. <laughs> Excellent. She's alive and kicking. Which reminds me, next, remove any and all yes. weapons from the victim. We don't want her thrashing about and lopping off any more appendages. Good thinking. All right, I've got her sword. It's engraved with a name, Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Gomez, oh. not on the carpet. <laughs> now, elevate her feet to help with circulation. Got it. Elevating her feet. Stompies. What's what? this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Subject Gustavo, free personal, Principolito de Toro, new ship, lunch, getting Gimplai, <laughs> funeral payment to Nuni, Guyver's three. Wait, where's the recompense? I guess she doesn't know yet. I don't. She still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. Do I need to put the grub to her face? That's no way to wake her up. Uh, that is certainly a way. <laughs> Ooh, one at a time. The last thing I need is them colonizing my trousers. <laughs> oh my god. Guybrush is a freebie. Ellie. The narwhal's quarters. Do I need to like fire the cannon, maybe? The narwhal's. I don't see how there would be any salts here. Oh. What the heck? <gasps> oh. the station passage. I've seen my fair share of flesh wounds, and this one is world class. A cochlea or inner ear? Hmm. I may have gone to public school, but I think those are supposed to come in pairs. Oh! So this is where the other ear is, or should be. 
Oh. Mm. Manatee earwax. Rotten and pungent. Perfect. Mm, nasty. Uh, wait, how do I go back down? Oh, there we go. Oh god, I hate it. I almost here. forgot. My pyrite parrot. I never leave home without it. Huh. It must have been jostled out of my pockets and washed away during ingestion. It's gone forever. What? Oh. Pyre the parrot. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Guybrush? Oopsie daisy, moan adversaire. That'll teach you to take a legendary pirate at sword point. You lost your weapon privileges. <laughs> Where are we? We've been swallowed by a giant manatee, and you're about to pose as my fake wife in order to placate a puzzle obsessed whack job. Oh no, I'm not. As much as I'd love to play house with the Guybrush Threefoot, I'm already late getting you back to Flotsam Island. Listen here, you poor excuse for a pissy privateer. Uh -oh. Any more than better you, and the captain will be sending your carcass on a tour of the small intestine. Uh, I guess we call this the good pirate, bad pirate routine. <laughs> oh my, <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry. I think I ought to rest for a spell. Must have taken a mouthful of something vile on the way down. <laughs> See? That's the pox! It turns people into... whatever that was, and it's in the process of ravaging the entire Caribbean. Even... Elaine. Okay, fine. But you have to do something for me. What is it? Will you sign this for me? Two seconds ago you were ready to slit my throat, and now you want to hang me in your locker? I was just <laughs> doing my job. Give it here. Now, let's go deal with Kuki Coronado de Cava. You're my make-believe wife, so just act like it. I... Well, well, well. The panty-waisted pirate wannabe has found himself a lady. Coronado, I'd like to introduce you to my wife. Il Morgan. Right. So, as you can see, there is no way I could be romantically affiliated with the voodoo lady. I am a one-woman man. Sure you are, lover boy. If you two are really just wed, you don't mind answering a few questions? Do your worst. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but easy, girl. Together now. How did you meet? Uh... uh... We met we through met work. Through work. Hmm. Nice. Where did you go on your first date? Uh... <laughs> We, we went, went sailing. sailing! All right, that's enough. You believe us? Almost. Almost? What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not your rival for the voodoo lady? Just take a step forward. Okay. Both of you. Now, let's get down to brass barnacles. What? I have asked you both a series of personal questions, the answers of which are recorded here on these cards. Oh, so sorry. Mr. Threepwood, you'll be happy to know that your wife has passed with flying colors. She seems to know every single detail of your life. Oh, shit. Now is your turn. Let's see what you know about Mrs. Threepwood. Answer three in a row correctly, and I'll believe you are honeymoon. It's the bowels of the beast for both of you. Question number one. Uh. What was the name of her favorite pet? Oh. It was Gomez, right? This is for Chuck Bender. No, what is Gomez? Not on the carpet. <laughs> Gomez. Correct. This nice. no way. Impressive, huh? Question number two. Who is her greatest idol? 
<laughs> That's an easy one. <laughs> it's engraved with a name. Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. <laughs> hmm. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. Fuck, I'm between... No, it has to be Guybrush, right? Guybrush Threepwood. Correct! Yeah. <laughs> Idle is a strong word. <laughs> the third and final question. She recently purchased a ship. This vessel is known as the Knave of... Blank. Also, yeah, why do I feel like he just signed the marriage license? Yeah, I... I was also weirded out by the fact that she had a picture of him at the ready hidden between her boobies. <laughs> That's a bit weird. But, you know. Oh, a new ship, wait. An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Ah, oh, shit, it doesn't say what the name is. Or is... Or... <gasps> Alexei! Look, they didn't put pockets in those women's clothing items. Gotta keep the important stuff somewhere. <laughs> she had a pocket. She literally had some stuff in her boots. Which she used as pockets. She could have used the other boot. <laughs> Hi, sweet bean, how are you? I feel... I feel like this wouldn't be a contract because... Oh wait, this isn't her paying. Funeral paying to Nuni. No, it can't be that. <laughs> this is for Chuckbender! Chalkbender. Could you repeat that? She recently purchased a ship. This vessel is known as the Knave of Blank. <laughs> Jugbender? Oh, come on. Wrong! <laughs> Failure! You know nothing of this woman. She is an imposter. Shit. Whoa. Prepare to be digested. No, no, no. Let me try again. Why should I? Because you want to be sure you're not killing innocent tourists. Oh my god. I suppose you are right. Plus, this is more excitement than I have had in years. Fine. Again. Nice one. <laughs> Question number one. Oh my what god. Was the name of her first love. Uh Gustavo? Gustavo. Correct. What? How did you Question number two? She was recently affected by the death of someone very close to her. Uncle what? Uncle Danny! Also, I'm okay, Bean. I took some ibuprofen to help with the, the leg, so it's it's not too bad right now. Oh, it was pretty bad when I got back home. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's been fine. It's been a, an alright day. How about you? What have you been up to? Uh... Nuni? Nope. Failure again! What? By a condeos. Whoa, Takava, no. Uh, give me another shot. Why should I? I was just confused. All this manatee breath is getting to me. Oh, all right. <laughs> Question number one. She is quite a skilled fighter. Who trained her in the ways of combat? Oh, that, I think that's easy. Dante? Dante Dragoda. Correct. 
Question number two. She was recently affected by the death of someone very Shit. close to her. Uncle what? But it did say that there was a fucking funeral. But her What's list this? an assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Halfway through your third project of the day, oh my god. Oh wait, the payment is too noony. Damn it. Um Oh and she killed Gustavo. Oh wow. Um so this isn't that was the payment to the person that did the funeral. Uh Jug Bender. Correct. Yes, okay. But how? The third and final question. What was the name of her favorite pet? <gasps> yes. You know this one? Gomez. Gomez. Correct. No way. Impressive, huh? Well, perhaps <laughs> I was mistaken. You two might be married after all. <laughs> no, it's all right. If a guy turns up in a manatee with your girlfriend's locket, a man has a right to ask a question or two. Now, about this sponge. The one you are not after. Exactly. We're just sightseeing, right, honey? That's right, Pookie Pie. <laughs> Perhaps you would like to join my crew. It could make a romantic tale for your honeymoon scrapbook. I'd love to join your crew. I'm gaga for scrapbooking. We'll find La Sponja Grande in no time. Magnifico! What's next? A stool sample? No, you look like a man of fair constitution. <laughs> now, any questions? <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah, what uh, what is the what is the project? What are you making? These sacred manatee mating grounds. It's the home of La Esponja Grande? That's correct. Hi. <laughs> Jesus. You have a crew? Are you counting your mood swings as members? I set out from Flotsam Island all those years ago with four other brave souls, all of whom were to play a special role in finding La Esponja. I may have been a stern leader, but I loved them like sons. Were you forced to eat them? I would have rather starved than see harm befall them. Alas, they perished in the belly of the beast long ago. A torturous demise. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes, I can still hear their screams. <laughs> um... Okay. Oh, another scarf. Nice. I've been using that scarf so much. I love it. It's so comfy. In the head. Actually... <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Yesterday, on the drive back... Uh, on the car. Oh, sorry. You remember how you told me, uh... That the, like... What do you call it? Like, the edge? Of the... The hat, like, you could... That I could, like, pull it up or down, depending. Uh, I pulled it all the way down. So I could just, like, sleep. It just covered my eyes and all of that, and I was just like slipping with the hat covering my head. <laughs> he was great, very comfy. When are we due to arrive? I was so White tired. Is, uh, getting antsy. Ah, well, I'm afraid the manatee has been lost for some time now. Lost? He's not a eunuch, is he? His plumbing <laughs> is still in working order, but his internal compass is another matter. How can you tell? Around and around he go. I've deduced that the problem lies within the manatee's inner ear. So, I'm crafting him a new one. That explains the spinning. Well, how are you building an inner ear? I'm weaving the husks of manatee throat grubs into a new cochlea for the beast. It's the only way. If you could bring me some, we'll save precious time. I'm on it. It looks like all we have to do is skin a few manatee throat grubs for the old man, and then build a giant synthetic cochlea to replace the missing one up in the ear canal, and we'll be on our way. Or you could give me my sword, and I can just cut our way out of here. I'm not letting you slice this poor fellow open. Manatees are gentle giants. Truly. Hi, brush. Back off, Susie Slicer. Easy. Whoa! Uh-oh. Rats. 
bullshit. Oh, <laughs> Murray! Oh, I hope Murray shows up. Oh, that's very squishy. Smooth. Thanks for the push. I've never seen an epiglottis before. <laughs> what? Drink! <laughs> I think we just found Dakava's crew. What say you, digested scum? <laughs> um. Who you calling scum, Geppetto? <laughs> you. Uh. Welcome to paradise. Uh. Paradise? The land of ever-flowing relaxation, soothing tunes, and all the icor you can stomach. Ew. What brings you down here? Just looking for your run-of-the-mill manatee, Coglia. Hey, we've got. That's the... enough. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, that would be a secret of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? The democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. United we stand, together we party. And you guys just live down here? You mean live it up? It's our own little slice of heaven. Feel free to stay, but please, don't rock the manatee. But I wanna rock, rock! Do, 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 Here's do, the plan. Do, do, do. You charge Johnny Cirrhosis over there, and I'll jump the leader and eviscerate his vitals. The square playing the bongos shouldn't be a problem for either of us. Whoever gets to him first scores the kill. Personally, I'll be going for his throat. <coughs> he looks like a biter. I don't think that's a good idea. You're right. I'll keep my distance and shoot for an artery. <laughs> no, no, I mean, we can't just slaughter these guys. The voodoo lady possessed Takava and said they were necessary to getting the sponge. Well, what's your plan? I'm going to go talk to them. Talk? Mighty pirates don't talk. We don't have time to talk. Mo, oh, sweetheart, this is what I do. So just sit back, relax, and let Guybrush Threepwood take care of things. Go relace your corset or shine your pauldron or what have you. Fine. <laughs> oh my god. But don't come running to me when negotiations fail. Oh god. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, look at him talk on. He's all the talky talkies. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Come here often? Yeah. Strong, silent type, huh? <laughs> Guy oh. All right. Get you later. Don't work too hard. Whoa, bro. Uh. Watch the brew. Party found. Sorry. Do you really like this stuff? Do walrus whiskers tickle when they kiss you? Boy, do they. Can we make the drink this? Every grub I waste is one more I'll have to pick up for Dakava. Hmm. Hi there, Guybrush Threepwood. Hola, I'm Moose, and that's my boy Santino. He has a name? Uh, yeah. It's more of a moniker. Like THE Santino, he's the coolest cat I've ever known. <laughs> ah, right on, dude. Can I interest you in a beverage? That's quite the straw. Sometimes you just want a <laughs> quick rush of Icor. This baby does the trick. I really shouldn't. All right, man. But that means you got to double up next time. Fair enough. Is there a substantial amount of lead in your drink? <laughs> nah, man. This is pure, unfiltered Icor. I got hooked on this stuff when we landed down here. You're drinking it. You better believe it. And it flows in abundance, my friend. What the fuck is Icor? Is that like an actual word? Word? Or is it something they made up? 
Tell me about i -Corp. What sort of varietals does it come in? Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here's the orange. Oh, I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy... Guts? Oh, watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. Ugh. What's with the funnel? That's Jumbo Jimbo, my custom drinking apparatus. I break it out for special occasions. Like lunchtime? It's important to celebrate life, brah. Ibsen, hey, how you doing? Welcome in. Do whatever fantasy coupe they want. Yeah. It just makes me think of liquor, but without the L. So I was very confused. To be fair, I'm guilty of that as much as anyone. <laughs> Greek mythology, the fluid that flows like blood in the veins of the gods. Archaic. A watery discharge from a wound. Oh, I hate that so much. <laughs> Hope you've been well, Ibsen. What you've been up to? I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Um. Pirate History Month. <laughs> Sounds like he's busy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Ooh, one at a time. The last thing. Ahoy there. Oh, hi. Yeah. You're in charge of the tunes, huh? I just like to play. It relaxes me. I can relate. I went through a mouth harp phase. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty mouth Guybrush. harp? I'm Noogie. What's your pretty girlfriend's name? Oh, she's not really my girlfriend. Her name's Morgan Lafley. Why? You think she's hot stuff? Well, yeah. She'd <laughs> chew you up like a pinky finger in a piranha pool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he is... Like, step on me, mommy. Oh, woo. Oh, woo. You enjoy it down here? Oh, yes. I would have never been able to abandon Coronado to Cava. But once we split, I realized what I'd been missing. I'll never work for another tyrant again. Democracy makes life worth living. It gives me a voice. The humidity doesn't get to you? You adjust to it. <laughs> You seem like a stand-up sort of guy. Tell me about the missing cochlea. Never. I made a promise of brotherhood with these men, and I'll never break it. It's a secret for brothers only. <laughs> I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. Oh, well, Bug Eye generally handles administrative matters. You should talk to him. Okay. Am I right? I was working on a Kickstarter project that a, that's a fantasy school book about divination and soothsaying. Oh, cool! With some stretch goal book bookmarks I made for it got delayed and it's a whole thing. Hopefully gonna get to finally send everything out next week. I'm really hoping people like them. <gasps> also, we got Tennis Elbow apparently, so that's fun. Oh, God. Tennis Elbow? That sounds... I have an idea of the, what that is. That doesn't sound, sound fun. <laughs> oh no. Is it like a temporary thing or like a condition or something? I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. Oh! Juicy. Whoa. Damn it. Okay. But yeah, this one's so cool. I'll spare your miserable life. Oh, <gasps> Marley. Or Murray. It's locked. Shit. Can I open it with a saber? I don't want to cut that. Damn it. 
You never want to cut anything, Die Brush. It's a ship named the Howler Monkey. What the fuck? Um. Oh. Man, that looks disgusted. All the protuberance. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not gonna work. Moist, but expedient. Oh! <laughs> I hate it here. It's cooler and sexier than golfer Silva with the least. <laughs> I think it just hurts for a few months and then hopefully goes away. Okay, that's good. <gasps> Painting! The plaque reads, Fish Eyes Alabaster, anarcho-socialist pirate philosopher. One day I hope my painting has such a fancy plaque, soiled and forgotten in the bowels of humanity. <laughs> I can't feel my legs! You don't... <gasps> Festive skull? Festive? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Ahoy there! I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name. It's Bug Eye. I've been doing some thinking, and I'd like to join the Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Is that so? Yep. Although I'm applying to the Oligarchical Society of the Alpaca Farm as a safety. This wouldn't have anything to do with a missing cochlea, would it? No way. I just like the cut of your jib. Well, admittance is as simple as a unanimous vote, even for a pirate such as yourself. We're a democracy, after all. Boogie, Moose, Santino, and myself founded our collective after growing tired of slaving away on the crews of tyrannical adventurers, always after some meaningless trinket. <laughs> yeah. Like, say a giant sponge? Precisely. We're never going back to our old lives. The Brotherhood was formed to make sure this adventure is a never-ending one. Yell with the man and all of that. Would you like me to call a vote? Sure. Yes. I'm a shoe in Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. His armpit hair is disturbing to Concerning me. the initiation of one guy brush Threepwood, what say you? Uh, no. Uh, no, I don't think so. What's he got to offer? What do you got to offer, nerd? What say you? I gotta vote with my boy Santino on this one. An obvious no. <laughs> what? This is ridiculous. Yeah. No, nah, bro. And of course, my vote, which is no. Shocker. Not a single yay. This is worse than when I ran for class president. <laughs> oh. Interesting. But yeah, hopefully it, uh, it heals soon. Is it particularly painful or just a little bit annoying and stuff? Come here often? What's with the no votes? I wasn't the one who killed you. <laughs> Was I? <laughs> Catch you later. Wait, I have an idea. Speak to Hi. him. Sup? The, the texture on his hair is so far forward. Like, it, it's not on the armpit, it's like on the side of his chest. I hate it. <laughs> what could you tell me about the missing cochlea? Nothing. That's a secret for brothers only. <laughs> well, I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. You'd have to talk to Bug Eye about that. He's our unofficial head honcho, hombre. Think I could count on your vote? Man, that's a tough one. I try not to get too wrapped up in the politics of the group. That's the beauty of democracy, man. Let other people make the big decisions, and you oh. can just ride the wave. I just vote for whoever Santino goes in for. I hate him. 
His forearms are also twice as large as his biceps. I think the hair is the least of his problems. It does look like all of the the blood is like getting stuck on his forearms. That is true. But also like I can I can like accept that as like an art style thing. But this is the 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 armpit hair, I guess just I can't. He does have Popeye arms. <laughs> it varies, honestly. Sometimes I can ignore it, but if I make the wrong move, it's like broken glass. Oh my god, that's... Damn. I hope it does heal fa fast. Anyway, I hope you are doing well. I'm hopefully dropping doing this. Oh, I haven't... Well, actually, same. I haven't been dropping into any streams because he became... Uh... A Final Fantasy XIV streamer, and I fucking hate that game. I don't want to be near it. <laughs> Suddenly, hi! But apparently, he's gonna start doing a Nuzlocke on Monday? So I'll be able to be around again, so that's cool. Yeah! <laughs> uh, so, pretty excited for that, and for the inevitable gotten the fourth who will inevitably inevitably die to uh psychic damage yeah that's that's a tradition at this point <laughs> after andy forgets that the subat line is uh poison and that poison is weak to psychic start thinking up your best girl's name so no <laughs> Um, I listen. I already used Bossy Sor. I'm not that it was my idea, but that just that's enough. That's, I I am done with curse names. That's that's the magnum opus of curse names for me. I feel bad about it, but for some reason I just can't watch FF14. I miss you all though. Aw, likewise. But uh, yeah, I I know the reason. I have had so many people try to convince me to play that game. I just got to the point where it was way too fucking overwhelming and I was like, no, I, I will just stay away from anything that has anything to do with this game because I hate it now. Especially because it's an MMO and I swore off MMOs decades ago. <laughs> so it's even worse. <laughs> uh, so I, I tried to stay away. And just like hearing his commentary in the background and say work. Yeah, that's fair. I just I, I just don't. It did kinda also start with me being like, well, if he's gonna do it one day a week, I'll just like not be there on Friday. It's like hey, I don't I don't support this. You know, like the boat with your wallet idea. And then he was like, actually, I'll also stream it Monday and like maybe Tuesday. And actually, I'll just become a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. And I was like, well, <laughs> I guess boarding with my wallet means <laughs> he won't be here at also. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'm sure that the, the Nuzlocke -like will be a lot of fun, and I have no idea what his plans are for after that. But we'll see. Uh, let me try this. Hold the toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Uh. Fruit Tuesday. Woohoo! Hell you. Yeah. Fruity boys. Okay, well, he's not looking. Here often? Get you later. Damn it. Can't they. Yeah, I like like I said, I it's perfectly fine for him. It's just something I don't I can't. I literally cannot. I've even had streams where I modded uh and the streamers were playing Final Fantasy fourteen and I was like so I, I was still kinda there but I was super checked out. I just don't want anything to do with that game. So it's not anything to do with him. Don't resent it, I'm glad he's happy with his playing and it's definitely seems to have injected a lot of new viewers. Yeah. 
Happy for him. Just sucks that I can't be there. <laughs> Hi. Sup. For me. Uh. I propose a toast. Right. Oh wait. Dia de los Muertos. I feel like I have to do something with him. Every grub I wait. Oh! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's how I feel about per No, Alexi, no! <laughs> they are 5,000% done for me, so I cheer from a distance. No! I w well, at least we'll get to, to still play Pokemon. During the next like four years, I'll be streaming Persona. <laughs> but I will missing you here. It's very rare that I can enjoy an open world game in general. I kind of need a pro a propulsive story to keep my attention, and MMOs are like the opposite of that. Truly, I just avoid MMOs because uh, for anyone that's heard me talk about League, I uh, I might have a little bit of an adaptive addictive issue with some games. So I absolutely refuse to stay even remotely near to an MMO or even consider trying one. <laughs> I'll, I'll turn in during certain area. Most of the game is a trigger warning for me. Yeah. Sorry, Bean. Are those manatee flesh bongos? Mm. Yeah, they produce a great sound. I think it's because they're full of bile. Maybe it doesn't work that way with people. <laughs> Noogie, my man. Um, kinda? I mean, to some extent. That's why I swore off MMOs decades ago. <laughs> Guess I know myself. <laughs> uh... I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. But usually that just means like I don't I don't care for it. But Final Fantasy XIV in particular, I've had very not great experiences with other stuff related to it. So I'm like, yeah no, I'm good. Oh, I thought this may help with that. What do I need to do with the Cool. Huh. Ahoy there. Now what? You're a real killjoy. I don't take kindly to ruffians messing with the dynamics of the Brotherhood. Aren't you a bit like the tyrants you claim to hate? I don't appreciate your inference, sweet roll. We do everything democratically down here. Noogie, Moose, and Santino carry equal weight in every decision. How about your decision to be a jerk? No, that one's all me. <laughs> Fish Eyes Alabaster. A renowned philosopher or a spooky old man who lived at the end of the lane? Fish Eyes was the first to see the honor in mutineering. He was a professional lookout for many years, until the strain ruptured his optic nerves. It ruined his face, but expanded his mind. He never worked another day in his life. We soldier on in his memory. All right, call a vote. I feel good about my chance. I wonder if what I did about well. Centino. Goldilocks here would like to join the brotherhood. Changed anything. Sweet. Voting. Brother Noogie, concerning the... Uh... Brother Moop. No, I gotta vote with my boy Santino on this one. An obvious no. What? Yeah. Shit. No. And of course... Shock. Not a... This is... Oh! 
What the fuck? But three, four, and five on release and dropped out after two months or so of each one. For some reason, I convinced myself each new game will be the one I get into. Yeah, that's. It's weird because. For Sony's games are so huge. Like there's a lot of things you have to like and you have to like the the mixture of them to some extent. Like to some extent you can just like if you don't enjoy the the dungeons a lot, you can just like rush through them. Or if you don't like the social stuff, you can avoid a decent amount of it. It will have some consequence, but like you can finish the game anyways. Um but to some extent you have to like both of them. Uh, and at least one of them has to like really pull you in. Like for example the, the social aspect I fucking love. I can't get enough of like learning about people and meeting friends and like... Ch I mean... T I mean Tilif isn't here and I don't, know, I don't know if Nice is here but Alexi can attest. I just love learning about people and friends and like checking up on them all the time and stuff. It's I I absolutely love that shit. <laughs> uh, trying to to hang out and stuff. In Persona, I feel to some extent has that in a way that just really appeals to me. Uh, that's very true. <laughs> uh, and then the dungeons, like in Persona Four, it wasn't that as good because it was very randomly generated kind of. Uh, but Persona 5 has like actually handcrafted designed uh, dungeons and I did really fucking love those when I played original Persona 5 like five years ago I want to say? <laughs> seven? No, not seven. Less. Five? Maybe four? But a while ago. Um. Uh. But yeah. I haven't had time to play a bunch of things lately. My favorite recent games last year or two have been Control, Hades, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, Celeste, and Pokemon Legends Arceus. I do love the Pokemon games. Yeah, Alexi likes the, the World of Landscapes. Um. Zippo the Lands. What the? Wait, should I speak with her? I'm so oh, confused. What is it? Hey, what's with the attitude? I thought you were a fan. I am a fan. I just thought I was a fan of a ruthless buccaneer, not some sensitive pastry chef. <laughs> hey, pastry chefs are tough as nails. True. You know, you can't just go through life cutting throats and dehanditating people. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Watch me. <laughs> I need to infiltrate the Brotherhood and find the missing cochlea. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> yes. Oh my, I, I am excited that they've announced Alan Wake 2. Because I imagine it will tie into control in some way. Uh, I, I, I actually am pretty sure they said as much. Uh, and obviously, control has some relation to different extents to Alan Wake as well. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. But also, it's going to be actual horror. So I'm also like a bit. Mm. <laughs> But still, a bit excited. Uh, okay, but yeah, Control Team would also be amazing. Take your time. Pretend wives sure are fickle. I wonder what my real wife is up to. Probably pining away for her mighty pirate husband. Oh my god. Well. <gasps> oh. But yes, There's control is great. About the open ocean that makes a man feel alive. I would imagine that simply having a pulse is a bit of an upgrade for you. <laughs> How many more 
of these filthy creatures do we need to unload before we can meet up with Guybrush? Dozens. Seven more islands and one peninsula should suffice. Seven? Listen, Chucky. Drop all the simians on the next patch of dirt we pass, and then we find my husband. We can't do that, Elaine. These monkeys need to be given proper homes, oh! far apart from each other, for their comfort and happiness. The chips can roast on an open flame, for all I care. Uh oh. <laughs> Elaine, you don't mean that. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. I do apologize, monkeys. Lush homes all around. I do apologize for the inconvenience. No need to apologize. Actually, it's crazy to say this, but I'm proud of you. Really? Look oh. at you, going out of your way to set things right. Who ever thought LeChuck would do such a thing? It's only the beginning. Yeah, Bright Falls. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, it got to the point in control for me where, and especially in certainly in Alan Wake, where it was like this. Ikava's plans to rebuild the manatee's inner ear or cochlea. They're remarkably comprehensive, considering they were drafted by a whack job. <laughs> uh, like I, I just wished they would happen faster or get started faster uh because like the the intro videos and stuff would just like time wise pile up a lot because there's a lot of those videos and i was like okay can we just like skip to the actual <laughs> the actual new content instead of watching this this intro like a gazillion times uh but otherwise yeah it's probably i really like junk. them or secrets. Liked it better than the game itself at the time. Oh, A wow. bucket full of grubs. I really hope food isn't that scarce in here. Can I give him the grub? Splendid! You found a manatee throat grub. Let's build a cochlea. That's the plan. Only ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine left. Uh, come again. Each grub yields such a small amount of usable husk. By calculations, I'll need another hundred thousand. <laughs> right. This is no laughing matter, Three Willow. We don't have time to collect that many grubs. On the contrary, time is all we do have. Rest assured, it will all pay off in the end. This is bananas. New plan. Find the actual cochlea. <laughs> yup. Um, I was wondering what would happen if we gave him the thing. Now I know. <laughs> uh, so that's not happening. Uh, I will still probably... What the fuck was that? Everything okay in there? Most certainly, sir. I'm just relaxing with a glass of warm milk. Okay. Yeah, I get that. A manatee throat grub. And I guess this is what Dekaba is after. I've never played Quantum Break, though. But I've heard that there's some good stuff and some not so great stuff about it. Also, isn't that the game that had like a TV show going on at the same time? That was like Hi. interlaced with the game or something? In some way? And then the show was cancelled? <laughs> like there was some weird shit about that. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Right. Um. Take your daughter to work day. Woohoo! Look, look, look. Um. No secret. Okay, that does nothing. Elaine was pretty adamant that I take care of this. I should just hold on to it. I forgot about that. Yeah, I think I think that was a thing. 
Can you stop the... Nope. <laughs> I am... Come on. Waste not, want not, bruh. Bruh. Come on, bruh. I am so confused. What do we need to do? What if you stop? <laughs> I can't. I think this part of the manatee has seen enough of Doesn't that hurt the manatee? It's an animal. It doesn't seem to mind. Note to self. Keep Bug Eye away from the Spinner KC Pony Shelter. <laughs> Not the time to re Hmm. I'm so glad that he didn't listen to us saying not the time to resort to murder as we were standing right behind them. Um, can we open this? Elaine was with a hook, maybe? Oh my god, fuck you, game. <laughs> there, all unlocked. My hook is pretty handy. Uh, but sometimes I miss the old opposable digits. Oh. The molecules are synthesizing. The formula is actualizing. Science! I have science here! Oh my god. La mort est due. I hate that. Anywho, Murray! Woe upon thee, foolish mortal! You have unleashed certain doom <laughs> upon all your feeble fleshy kind! For the wrath of Murray shall be... Very funny. <laughs> Hi, Murray! Threepwood! I suppose I should have expected this. Long time no see. How'd you get trapped in here? I'm not trapped! Okay, what were you doing before you chose to hang out in a treasure chest inside of a manatee? <laughs> well, my legions of undead marines had brought an armada of Spanish clippers to their knees when a mighty tempest tossed our ship. I don't remember hearing about any battle with the Spanish armada. Ha! Huh, as if we would allow a soul to live to tell the tale. Would you like some help? Help? Ha! Help? I will end you. Okay then. Well, it was nice talking to you, Murray. Um... Maybe a little. <laughs> Come again? Perhaps a lift. Oh, you'd like help. Let's go, pal. <laughs> ah, it's dark in here. And why does it smell like rotten marmalade? Uh, Nate uh, Ibsen, thank you for popping by. Yes, please get some rest. It's pretty freaking late. <laughs> I appreciate you. Have a good one. And hopefully I'll see you soon at Dandy's. At Andy Bendy's. Can't reach it. Um. Oh wait! No way! Oh my god! Wait, I have an idea. Oh my god! <laughs> Hi. Sir. I propose a toast. Right. Diwali. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, look away, bro. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Threepwood, you have made the greatest mistake of your life! In my new corporeal form, I will scorch these lands to the ground, only to rebuild them in my nefarious almighty image! So, you like your new setup? I do! Santino, bro, you wanna spot me on this one? Men pledge their allegiance to me. Our brotherhood is a bond forged in the flames of hell. Gnarly. Perhaps I will <laughs> revel in this union of brothers for a moment. Before burning the world. Terror will come to this manatee, rest assured. <laughs> I love Mar. I love Murray. Such a silly evil boy. Yogi, my man. Oh, are we gonna have to get him like a date with Morgan? I can really use your vote into the Brotherhood. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here, and I don't think Bug Eye likes you much anyway. 
well, let me do you a favor. Like? I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morgan LaFlay. Really? You think she'd say yes? To a stud such as yourself? Of course. Wow. Okay. <laughs> if the date goes well, you have my vote. Deal. In the oh, meantime, here is a new member's manual. It might be worth looking over if you're serious. It's full of our initiation rituals, neophyte duties, etc. Oh, hazing rituals? By law, we're no longer allowed to use the word hazing. We call them enhanced initiation techniques. Oh my god. Sounds delightful. One day coming up. <laughs> what does this say? It reads, The Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior, a guide for the newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation and You. Hmm. The cover is loose. The cover is loose. Okay. Hey, Mo. What is it? It's not really the best time for this, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? Kind of portly, if you ask me. Oh my god. Come on. You should go on a little manatee date with him. No way. I feigned enough romance for one day. Well, what about... Oh my god. Did I say date? <laughs> I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Here's the play. <clears throat> Shoot. It's a three-phase operation. First, you should... Um... <laughs> Reflex text. Throw a rock at him. <sighs> Inspect his gums in case he's a biter. Inspect his gums for pathogens. In case he is a biter, we need to know what sort of infections we'll be dealing with. Okay. Second, you must... <laughs> uh... Check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Lastly... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> throw a rock at his head and see if he snatches it out of the air. That way, we have an assessment of his reflexes. Okay. Okay, so... Inspect his gums for disease. Check for weapons. And then... Reflex test. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. This is gonna be glorious, isn't it? Uh-oh. Also, how you been, Stokely? Hey, I don't know. Date? Think... Terrible. Uh oh, what happened? She shoved her hands into my mouth. Why would I ever want that? Well, different strokes, you know. Not for this guy, ever. Wow. I'm sorry things didn't go as well as you'd hoped. It's not your fault. I just don't think she's for me. Well, do you think I could have your vote anyway? I don't think so. Let me go talk to her. I still see love in the future. Okay. Oh my god, don't do that, please. Uh, but yeah, I think I got distracted by something when you came in. How you, how you doing, Stutley? How you been? Hey, Mo. What is it? I need you to go on another recon mission. Who this time? Well, Noogie again. I just don't think I... Really? That's the spirit. It's a three-phase operation. Process getting close to complete. First, Hoping should... to be moving in a couple of weeks. <gasps> nice! Interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Second, you must... Take his hand. Test his grip. In case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Lastly... Between either of these two, 
check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck. Okay, okay. Interrogate, test his grip, and then check for weapons. You got it. Good luck. Thanks. Let's see if this works. Oh, that's a different. Hey, Noogie. How was the date? At first, I was really nervous. Yeah? But it turned out great. <gasps> yes. She was so into me. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Oh my god. Nice. Then, she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. Mr. Big Stuff over here. And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. It was awesome. The perfect Oh my date. god. Glad to hear it went well. So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too, as a keepsake. Get thing creepy. <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, so now we try the boat? Now what? All right. Very well. Gentlemen. Sweet. Voting. Let's go. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one Guybrush Threepwood, what say you? Um, yes. I vote yes. I think he'll help raise morale. <laughs> Doubtful. Brother <laughs> Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Well, Threepwood has recently done me an extraordinary favor. <laughs> Your vote, then? Of course, my vote is... No! Never! I would never allow him to revel in the joy of you being fucking... a brother! You <laughs> fucking... What? I got you a body! <laughs> Making my betrayal all the more evil! <laughs> I am the king of torment! I shall torture I fucking your soul hate you. for eternity! Yeah. Nah, bro. Two nays, then. And of course, my vote, which is no. Shocker. Ah, I'm sorry. Initiation can only be confirmed by a unanimous vote. What about a simple majority and a high five? I don't think so. God damn it. Murray, is this because I kept trying to stick your arm full of glue to your head multiple times? Hey there, Mur uh, Santino. Aloha. <laughs> How's the body treating you? Remarkably well. It's only a matter of time before I gain control of my limbs. <laughs> oh boy. Then we're in for it. I shall rewrite your definition of misery. You're literate now too? Not completely. <laughs> What's the deal? I do you a favor and this is how you repay me? <laughs> Do you think I, Murray, the demonic skull, would ever let you experience the joy of being welcomed into the Brotherhood? Well, yeah, I thought we had a deal. I would rather be reduced to dust than see a smile on your face come induction time. <laughs> oh my god. Of course, if I could see you howling in misery come induction time, you'd have my vote. Oh. You actually like these guys? Like? I like no one, but I love the Brotherhood. What I have here is a group of men I can mold in my own image. Their fates are tied to mine, and my fate leads to the highest throne of hell. <laughs> so Brotherhood actually suits you. Plus, Bug Eye is working on a creed. I love creeds. Oh my god. You know, I brought you into this world of the bipedal. I can just as soon take you out. Threats will never turn my cheek. You'll never have my vote into the Brotherhood. What's the deal? I would rather be reduced to dust than see us. Of course, if I could see you howling in misery come induction time, you'd... Hmm. Talk to you later. Take care. Interesting. Oh, wait. 
the cover for this is loose, so what if I find something that says that the the introduction will be painful and horrible? That's one angry monkey. Like, baboon angry. Oh my god. Uh, can I cut it out? I don't want to cut that. Damn it! I'm gonna have to adjust to life with a hook hand. For starters, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Elaine was pretty at it. Mm. This member's. A pool of acidic yellow bile. Hmm. Think a think a thoughts. Noogie, my. Like the like. I dig yes. it. So now we come back here. Now I wanna try and put stuff into the 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 goop. See what happens. Every grub I I don't wanna This member's manual seems too imp Damn it! Gonna have to adjust to like. Hmm. Hmm. The cover is loose. Maybe. My Wi-Fi is saying so good to run. You're all lovely. <gasps> Press well, Alexi. Let me punches. You're great. Thank you for hanging out. Oh wait, can I dump? This member's. Me I don't know why I'd want to do that, but. Every gr Check out this new member's manual. Full of joyous events to celebrate our brotherhood, no doubt. Exotic pleasures that you'll never know. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a book here somewhere I could use? Pouch. It's probably full of Dekava's hmm. Hiya, Chief. Yes, Grooman. What you doing? I'm working on the oh, I'm out of ideas. Inner ear, <laughs> and you should be finding me my Appreciate it. Right, grubs. Funny thing about your crew. Oh, my crew. Say no more. I don't want to get emotional in front of a new crew member. All oh, other cries haunt my dreams. <laughs> you need 100,000 of these grubs to build one cochlea? By my calculations, yes. This is going to take forever. You know that, right? Forever? No. Several years, yes. An ardent adventurer must maintain his focus over the long game, Crew <laughs> Tripwood. Huh? What was that? I wonder if someone ever tried to just hand them all 100,000 of the grubs. Actually, let me Google that. Because if there's a video, I want to see it. <laughs> if they did like an easter egg for it. And he's like, oh, actually, it doesn't work. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tales of Mon the Island Chapter Three One Hundred Gross. Oh, my God, there is. Wait, let me <laughs> one hundred K Grub Strat. Uh, let me wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um, oh, this has a couple spoilers, I guess, but it's whatever. <laughs> um, properties.
Wait, why is this not? Oh, there we go. And there. Let's see what the fuck this is. Excellent. That's all the grubs we need. We'll be out of here faster than you can say Dusky Leaf Monkey. Dusky Leaf Monkey. Oh my god. <laughs> Does it actually skip the whole fucking game? <laughs> oh, whoops, I don't want to do that. Uh, holy, that's amazing. Actually. <laughs> what the fuck? I love that. <laughs> oh. All right then. Take care. I I love that dedication. Um. Let's see if there's anything I missed here on the ship. I guess. Everything okay in there? Most certainly, sir. I'm just relaxing with a glass of warm milk. Okay. Damn it, I can't. Oh wait, there was... Is there anything else up here? I don't want to cut that. And I guess this is Every just gr where we put the cochlea. This member's... While it may look like it's full of candy, I believe the cochlea is key <laughs> to this manatee's <laughs> sense of direction. Candy? Oh, candy. <laughs> hmm... I feel like there has to be a book or something somewhere, but we'll... We'll... Yup, yup. Hmm. Hey Mo, what is it? Okay. Take okay, I'm done with her for now. Hmm. It's just time, time to start collecting groups, right? <laughs> Hell no. That will most definitely not make for remains of one of those seahorse things. Interesting content. <laughs> seahorse eats plankton. Manatee eats the seahorse. Juveniers hijack the manatee. Ah, the circle of life. Nor will it make for my sanity to remain intact. <laughs> Boy, there. Now what? Now what? What happened to Fish Eyes Alabaster again? He was a professional lookout for many years, until the strain ruptured his optic nerves. It ruined his face, but expanded his mind. He never worked another day in his life. We soldier on in his memory. Mm. Later, Buggy Bilgewater. So long, three wuss. Oh my god. So sad. Nothing more in there. Guess it only had room for one demonic skull. It's a ship named the Howler Monkey. Hmm. The portrait of Fish Eyes Alabaster. It's covered with ancient grime. I can't see the painting. Whoa! I dropped some stuff. <laughs> Whoops. Every grub I wait. Damn it. Can we scrape it off with this? I have a sword. Damn it. With this? 
Tearing this to sh <laughs> This member's manual? The portrait of Fish Eyes Alabaster. It's co <sighs> I really have no- I can't reach- So this thing should get me there. Oh wait, I wonder if I can- I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut. Mm. Every grub I... I'm gonna have... Oh, wait! I wonder if I can use... No secret messages? Damn it! Bop. Wait, what happened? Oh, I thought there was a... <laughs> uh, an automated message. Um... That's one angry monkey. Hmm. I've already tried everything to like take it out, this but manual I can't. I am so stuck. It's a sh piles of fabulous treasure, but what I need is a voodoo sucking sponge. Hmm. Elaine was... No secret. I wonder if this is literally... Every... Oh, maybe! Oh, nope. Never mind. <laughs> Good idea, though. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if... My man. What happens if he plays this and I make the other to dig it? Drink, maybe. Or just pull on this. Come on. Waste not, want not, bruh. Bruh. Hi. Tell me about Icor. What sort of varietals does it come in? Hmm. Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here's the orange. Oh, I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy Bubbly powder. effervescence. Watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. Oh. So, yeah, it's acid. So, if we want to peel something off, we can use that. <sighs> Hmm. I propose a toast. Right. Dia de los Muertos. I wonder if Murray will say something. Nope, here goes shit. Hey there, Muru. Aloha. Talk to you. Take care. Hmm. I hate it too because there's like two screens. So if I'm missing something. That should be obvious. It will make me feel even worse. <laughs> the portrait of Fish Eyes Alabaster. It's covered with ancient grime. I can't. Um. A pool of acidic. So this brings me to the star. I wonder if maybe using them in a certain order will help me get through this? Nope. <sighs> I really feel not smart right now. <laughs> what am I missing? It's a, it's basically acid, 
So I need to find I something I can just dump in there to melt. But I do not know of such a thing. Ooh. Are those manatee flesh? Yeah, they produce a great sound. I think it's cut. Maybe it doesn't work that way with people. I feel like I'm missing something. Like I'm gonna have to like pixel hunt or something. The canvas camp. Minimalistic, airy, with a warm layer of mucus. I really love what Takafa's done with the place. Oh my god. Takafa's plans to rebuild the manatee's inner ear or cochlea. They're remarkably comprehensive, considering they were drafted Wait, by what a if I... job. This member's manual seems... Oh, what if I give it to him? Oh my god. Kappa doesn't have any... Yeah, man. Not missing anything? A steamer trunk. I mean, it's probably full of junk. Or secrets. Wait, do you actually know the Lovebrook? Have you played this? Or did you, like, look it up? Out of curiosity. Damn it. So lost. Just piece together the move you're looking for? Oh my god. Double work here is too smart for us. Have I showed it to her? This member's manuals? Wait, what if I find the container to put some of this bile in and dump it down here? But I don't think I've seen any container. That's another idea I just had. Oh! Wait, can I get his fucking thing somehow? Every grub I. I'm gonna have to. Can I kill him? <laughs> Not the. T this member's man. Mm. This member. Stab? Wait, is that a hint? I'm gonna have Do I need to stab someone? Can I stab this brain? This rare instance. Thingy? I don't see how vandalism can help. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna have mm. I don't want to cut. Just being supportive of murder. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so clueless. Oh no. Hi. What's up? Um. I think I could count on your vote? I just vote for whoever Santino goes in for. See ya. Later on. Mm -hmm. 
Every grub I waste is one more. I'm gonna. Elaine was pretty at. Damn it. Um. I guess I'll try speaking with Oogie, everyone again and see if I miss something. Thanks for the vote. Thank you. I think I got a future with that piping hunt pirate hunter. I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. Hmm, so I tried to make him drink during that time, or pull the drink, and it didn't change anything. So I have to use the the, the thingies to be able to move there. So it definitely has to be... Mm. Like think brain think. I dig it. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Just saw it. Freaking bots. That's what. Hmm. Is there anything I, I didn't try to mix? Oh, whoops. Hmm. I have no clue. Let me read this again. The Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior, a guide for the newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation and You. Hmm. The cover is loose. The portrait of fish. Secret. Uh, tearing this. Hmm. Get wrecked, bot. Hell yeah. <sighs> oh my god, I will. I will take suggestions at this point, because I am truly fucking clueless. Like, real bad lost. <laughs> hey there. Can I... This member's manual? Is there anything to do with this fucking skull Every... for some reason? I don't want to cut... Maybe I want to cut that Good guy, enough. Rush. Have you ever thought about what I want to do? It's always you, you, you. What about what I want, Guybrush? What's up with it? the picture is uh, covered in like very old grime, uh, so we can't see it. I don't know why we'd want to see it, but I guess we do. <laughs> What is it? Okay, I'll be back later. Take your time. Gastric acid? <laughs> like I am thinking of using the acid on the painting if I can. But um... But I don't have a container to put the, the acid on, or in, rather. Oh wait, can Looks I- like Dekava's managed to collect quite a few grubs already. Only- Can I get this bucket somehow? This member's man- I'm gonna have- 
Well done! Shit. I don't want to cut. No. Dekava's homebrewed cochlea. It should be ready in a decade or so. Hiya, Chief. Yes, crewman. What do you want me to do, Captain? Gather grubs. Time waste for no man. The tea. Why do you want La Esponja Gordo again? It is a unique voodoo artifact. One afternoon, whilst strolling through her favorite Hexer's market, the voodoo lady mentioned the power of the giant sponge, and I could not think of a more noble gift for my buxom bewitcher. And you've been on this quest ever since? Couldn't you have just bought her flowers or a custom shrunken head rack? Imagine her face when she opens the box! Isn't this thing gigantic? Well, when she removes the box. All right then. Take care. Nope, we can't take the pen thing. It's the narwhal's cannon. While it lacks firepower, stuck it does look there, scary. I guess, for some reason. <laughs> this member's manual. And Winslow. I don't need your sympathy, three uh -oh. wood. I'll string you up the mizzen mast and let the gulls pick the flesh off the bone. <coughs> so not great. Yeah, nope. I wish. <laughs> I wish it was that simple. Um, I am just utterly lost. This doesn't seem like there's anything here. I guess I'll get another group. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, I'm with Stuffling. Then give it the grubs. The Kavas no. plans to rebuild the manatee's inner ear or cochlea. They're remarkably comprehensive, considering they were drafted by a whack job. Oh, mm, manatee uvula. Well, it's a delicacy in some cultures. I don't think so. I've always lived by the rule. Do unto others uvulas as you would have done to yours. I don't think so. I've always lived by the rule. Do unto others uvulas as you would have done to yours. Every grub I waste... This member's... No secret messages there. This member's manuals? This member's manuals? This member's manual seems too mm. important for that. And I can't give it to him, even the though it was his fucking crew is alive. I miss being able to interact with things. <laughs> um, it's like a giant. Elaine. Damn it! There's literally two screens and I have no fucking clue what to do. This should not be this hard.
Portrait of Fish Eyes Alabaster. It's covered with ancient grime. I can't see the painting. It's a ship named the Howler Monkey. Hmm. This member's manuals? All this treasure can't be good for the manatee's digestion. Piles of fabulous treasure. But what I need is a voodoo... <sighs> I... Doesn't that hurt the manatee? It's an animal. It Note to self. Keep bug out. Doesn't that... It's an animal. Note to... Hmm... I think this part. I think this. Damn it! Ahoy there! Now what? Give me the skinny about the missing cochlea. I can keep a secret. I'll never break. Except in the face of porcelain. Particularly. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear before when you were told that it was a secret of the Brotherhood. Well, I did, but I figured you told everybody that. Come on, I'm Guybrush Threefoot. I don't care if you're the Queen of Swaziland or the Ghost Pirate LeChuck. I've killed him a few times. Sure you have, Cream Puff. <laughs> what do you say about giving a nod to old Guybrush Threefoot come voting time? Mm, sure. Come on, what? Wait, really? You can have my vote as soon as you beat me in a pirate oh. face-off. We don't want any weenies in the Brotherhood. Is this gonna hurt? Just your pride, Johnny Cakes. I give you my best pirate face, and then all you have to do is top it. Originality counts. I'm a pirate with a face. This should be a cinch. Oh, is this why we need the Ready? painting? I'll go first. All right. We're ready for some pirate face-off action. It's Bug Eye, the Viceroy of Visages, versus... Uh, uh, Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> Let him have it, bug eye. Here comes the <laughs> stinky, lazy eyed meanie. All right, oh my, my turn. Do your worst, guy brush. Show this egalitarian bozo who's boss. Now, check this out. Oh, my lord. Oh. Here comes the Arr! stinky, lazy-eyed meanie. Ha! That's it? Yep. Did you miss me saying originality counts? <laughs> or are you such a pathetic pirate that you had to copy my face to a T? Um... Really, Guybrush? Come on. I added my own flavor. He might as well have been looking in a mirror. This is humiliating. <laughs> Mighty pirate indeed. <gasps> what? Oh. Ouch. Bummer, dude. It just slipped out of her hand. Watch. She'll Topa. realize her mistake and hurry back for it. Hey, Toopy. How are you doing, you awoke cutie? Wait eating? for it. Wait. <laughs> Uh-oh. So, pirate faces. <laughs> Better go cop a few new mugs if you want to upgrade from miserable embarrassment to just simple failure. Where's the picture? Give it to me! An original signed Guybrush Threepwood. Morgan's gonna want this back. It's a picture Morgan clipped of me. I think this was taken right after I saved the village of Kaflu from a lava slide whilst constructing the Cutlass. Or it's from a wanted poster. It's hard to say. <laughs> Can I mix it with this? I guess I can give it back? 
I think you dropped this. You think right. But what will you hang in your locker? Maybe I'll find a nice full color with Chuck. Oh my god, Ouch. low blow. <laughs> Is it bad that they say stinky mean face and I think I'm better? <laughs> hey Kin, how you doing? <laughs> also, I'll be right back. God, my knee hurts. Um... Hmm... <sighs> what do I do with this picture now? Can I interest you in this signed Guybrush throughput photo? Can I interest you in an eternity of painful torment at the hands of the fiery minions of Murray, the invincible demonic skull? Uh, I'm good. <laughs> I don't know if I can try this again. That's enough decapitation for now. Damn it. Hmm. Can I combine this with anything? Hmm. I am at such a loss. Can I interest you in this sign? No thanks. No thanks. Can I interest you in this sign? If I was chewing gum, that would be a fantastic place to dispose of it. <laughs> but as I am not, no thank you. Wow. Hmm. Can I stick it to the fucking nah. skull? No. Hmm. I don't imagine I can use nope. it here. Here? Mm, no. Here? <laughs> uh-uh. What do I do with this? Ah. Even when I make small little bits of progress, I'm still freaking clueless. I have zero idea what to do. Can I splurge on it? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Ah, deck hand. Could you do me a favor? What? Shoot. I'm parched. I would love a drink, but none of that yellow muck. Dangerous stuff that is. Makes my eyes go wilder than a froth. Okay. Are you fucking drink, shitting me? Up. I just had to try the face contest before he would give me the Oh fuck you. Wait, can I steal this? Yes! Where has my monocular run off to? Slippery devil. Looks like Dukava's managed to collect quite a few grubs already. Well, that's progress. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> hey you, rabble rouser. Yes? Are you enjoying your time with the democratically united brotherhood of the Manatee Interior? How can I not? Can't wait to be voted in. We'll see about that. In the meantime, I don't want any trouble. We got it nice and easy down here. Okie dokie. Just some friendly advice. Don't be poking around up top and stay away from Dakava. The last thing this manatee needs is his sense of direction restored. We don't need to be getting to any sacred mating grounds. Seriously. I've never seen manatees mate before, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be inside one when I do. I'm glad <laughs> we're on the same page. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So let me try this. Doogie, my man. Arr! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. I'll add that to my fireface repertoire. 
How you doing, Topi? Doogie, my man. I like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. A little up there. <laughs> I, 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 I catch, I catch your drift, Toby. Hope you're doing okay and taking care. One cup of horribly corrosive, ultra-toxic manatee bile. Delish. So let me use... Ah, come on! Summon the painting, if I can. Manatee bile, the ocean's natural solvent. Whoa, check out those peepers! Oh my god. They should do nicely. <laughs> I bet old fish eyes was a hit with the bearded ladies. <laughs> what? Okay, and now I want to try it again. Um, But dump the liquid on the... Doogie, my man. ...thing. I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. Oh, it already has the, the thing, never mind. Actually, can I use it on the figurehead? Somehow? This is volatile bile. I need to be careful. Yes! Much better. Well, better anyway. I cannot believe this. Huh, look at that. Oh! Somebody should really return this to their local library. Modern torture made easy. Yeah, I really hate to break a sweat while breaking the wills of my enemies. Creepy. But kind of cute. Creepy. Yeah, exactly. Now, I think we can do this. Yes! With a little elbow grease, I can swap the covers on these two books. <laughs> this looks so out of place. <laughs> Murray, <clears throat> I mean, Sand, you know? Do you want to have a look at this new member's manual to the Brotherhood? You might find it pretty interesting. Reading is for the feeble! Oh, I just thought these initiation rituals might strike your fancy. The first step in drawing and quartering your victim is... Wait, wait. What was that? Just going over some of what I can look forward to when I'm voted into the Brotherhood. Let me see that. <laughs> Why, that's positively malevolent. Look at all the blood. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Wait a minute. Let me see the cover. Ha, it's the genuine article. Too bad I can't have your vote. Aha! You should be careful what you ask for! Consider my vote yours, and your demise yes. is imminent! We did progress! Oh my god. We might get through this today after all. <laughs> I thought we would do like no progress. Um. Oh, we can. We should try. Getting faces from everyone, maybe? Hi. What's up? Arr! Arr! Nice technique. <laughs> hey there, Mer Santino. Aloha. Arr! 
Your contorted cast couldn't scare a schoolgirl. In my day, I could turn a man to stone with a smirk. I can make blood boil with a scowl. And all I need is a reason. And lips. Talk to you later, Murray. Take care, windbag. Rip. What about her? Hey, Mo. What is it? Arr. Arr. Ooh, that's a new one. Okay, okay, okay. I can try one more. Sir, if I may have a word. Uh oh. How you doing, Winslow? Can I get you anything? Mogobile? I'm well, thank you. I wanted to inform you. As I was crawling back under the covers, I came across something uh, unsettling. Not another outbreak of Polynesian bed mites. No, 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 no. And I've seen my fair share of disturbing things between the sheets, sir. Ahem. <clears throat> what was it, Winslow? I believe a threat, sir. I left it over on the gangplank. It came with a note. Something about this being what happens to those who try to interfere with the Brotherhood. Uh oh. Sea biscuit. What the fuck? Mmm, I love these things. And a seahorse head. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hiya, Chief. How's that drink coming along, Swabby? Don't worry. I'm on it. Arr! Why was that nonsense? A pirate face. Intimidating. Arr! I am an explorer and esteemed adventurer. I don't do those sort of things. Oh, not even a little? Not even a little. Arr! Stop that! All right, then. Okay. okay. Your mug, sir. I thought I told you, no yellow. Those other flavors are for wimps. Are you trying to kill me? I told you I lose complete ocular control. Oh. Hmm. So. So if we give this to him, it will be fine, right? A mug full of the Bailey Bubbly. Bailey Bubbly. Ah, refreshing. So I need to make it so it looks orange, but it is yellow. Hmm. How could I do this? Need to see that any closer. Plus, it's specially fit for decop. Strange this again, I guess. Ahoy there. Now what? Let's go another round. Haven't had enough yet, doll face. Ready? I'll go first. Go, nerd. He's got the Arrgh. stinky, lazy eyed meanie. <laughs> oh, is this a pilgrim face competition? I could have sworn you said pirate. <laughs> Let me show you. 
nasty. Fish eye. Gomer. He's got the arr. nasty fish eyed Gomer. Bye. <laughs> Gnarly. Cheap whistle has made it through the first round. Nice. First round. But can you top this? It's the arr. hooded cross eyed geezer. <laughs> Did you do a face yet? I just see general disfigurement. Now check this out. Oh my god. Um. Who did? Tweaking. Geezer? It's the R. Hooded tweaking geezer. <laughs> Some fresh moves, but not enough. Partial originality is as good as none at all. Damn it. Bug Eye wins. You've got nothing, boy. I'm just warming up. Hmm. Think. So what if I mix this being already in the mug? Yeah, then bro. I put the Glad other stuff. indulging. My man. Hmm. Like the beat. How about something a little more up tempo? Like this? I dig it. of yellow bile. Apparently it's nigh undrinkable. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> so much for enough for he couldn't refuse. <laughs> Truly. Um... Wait, is Good this? Party. Oh, I thought that might have like a face or something. I don't need to see that any closer. Plus, it's specially fit for Dekaba. Spill it- oh, I, I, I did already. It showed me- That old fish eyes was a hit with the bearded ladies. The, the split eyes. I think it's the name. A seahorse head. Giant manatees snack on these things like crackers. Man, if somebody made little fish-shaped snack crackers for people, they'd be sitting on a gold mine. Oh my god. <laughs> Dekava's monocular. A single lens device he uses to see while working in the darkness of the manatee's throat. Hmm. That makes it with this? <gasps> These lenses are about the same size. Dekava's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose-tinted glasses. Or uncover loads of secret messages. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh my god! He's gonna think that the yellow bile is a uh, different color. And drink it and make a face. Let's go! Oh my god, I hadn't thought about that. No secret messages there. No, I... Do I have to just give it to him? Your monocular, boss. Thank heavens! I was going mad without them! No harm done to them? Uh, the lens was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How resourceful of you, crewman! Taking after old Coronado, I see. Ah, uh, yes. Totally. Uh, speaking of which, here's your your mug, Mister. Here's your mug, Mister. Mug full of the bily bubbly, and thank you for avoiding the corrosive yellow icon. 
Oh! Check out those eyes. No, uh. oh, even the orange has gone foul. Never again. It's Eustachian runoff or seawater for me from here on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I wonder if we can talk to poor boy and see if he makes the face as well. Or if we have everything we need. Winslow! Not your buxom buddy, Captain Skippy! You'll say my name with fear, or face the wrath of my cutlass. <laughs> Bitch! What if I look through the window instead? Would that make me work? Would I somehow see a face? And Winslow, how you feeling? I don't need your sympathy, Threepwood. I'll string you up the lizard mast and let the gulls pick the flesh off the bone! <coughs> so, not great. <laughs> um, hmm. Wait, can I do something to this? I shouldn't. It's not. Hmm. Let's try this, I guess. Now what? Now what? I'm ready to beat you in a pirate face-off. Well, I hope you've done some face research since our last one. <laughs> Ready? I'll go first. Here comes the... Arrr. Stinky, tweaking geezer. <laughs> I've seen a tougher face on a newborn. Check this one out. Oh, we're missing a single mouth one. Which I think we need to give lips to Murray for? Uh, who did? Cross eyed. Geezer. Here comes the. Arr! Hooded, cross-eyed geezer. Mm. <laughs> fresh moves, but not enough. You've got nothing. I'm Damn just warming it. up. Okay, so let me. You know anything about a seahorse head left in my bed? Wasn't me, but I wish it was. <laughs> Can I interest you in this signed Guybrush three-foot photo? Can I interest you in an eternity of painful torment at the hands of the fiery minions of Murray, the invincible demonic skull? Uh, I'm good. <laughs> um. Hey, Murray, can I interest you in this torture manual? Aha! I wrote the book on torture. For instance, taunting a man with his greatest desire is a good form of psychological warfare, <laughs> as is an Indian rub. How so? Do you yearn to reap the incredible benefits of membership of the Brotherhood? Sure. That'd be okay. Well, I'll never let you in, ever. Does it scorch your insides, <laughs> Threepwood? Does it fill you with painful sadness and gas? Uh, something does, but I think I swallowed some bile earlier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um Every gr Hey there, Mer Aloha. Doctor Tate. So I feel like there should be a way to give him something that resembles lips. But I do not know what that would be. Mm. Oh wait! Right! A monkey face! I like it. Wow! 
Yes! Oh my god, we found the last one. Oh, I forgot. That makes so much sense now. Come on, let's go! Hi there. Now what? Let's go another round. Haven't had enough yet, dollface. Let's go! Ready? I'll go first. He's got the... Stinky, Stinky lazy, lazy eyed, eyed geezer. geezer. <laughs> All right, my turn. So he's the nasty, fish-eyed gomer. He's got the arr, nasty, fish-eyed gomer. Bye. <laughs> Through the first round. <laughs> nice, but can you top this? It's the Arr, hooded cross-eyed meanie. Here comes trouble. So the bugged out. Tweaking? Monkey. It's the Arr, bugged out tweaking monkey. <laughs> well, I'll be. I've given you all the faces that I know. Yes. Unbelievable. Threepwood has beaten the High Prince of the Puss. What? Bravo. Now who's the Ombudsman of Unoriginality? Unoriginal? Me? <laughs> if you say so, Short Stack. I beat you. Now I demand your vote. Is that so? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? I've had this old thing laying around. What? Low holes to Betsy. Could it be? Holy what? buckets! It's the bug eye! What the fuck? Really seen, bros and bras. If the challenger can't top that, this competition is over. Are you suggesting that I pull out both of my eyes? Well, extreme. He clearly broke the rules. Which rule is that? Well, there ought to be a rule <laughs> concerning the use of the freaky eye. I put up a fight. Can't you just give me your vote? I stated my terms. Ugh. I had no chance the entire time, huh? Took you long enough to figure out. How about your vote for a fine leather jacket? Oh, you know, I've been in the market, but no. Your vote, or you're a dead man. Resorting to petty threats? Good luck. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm sick of your run uh -oh. I'm sick of your silly faces, and I'm sick of... Whoa. Maybe you're just sick, brah. Uh oh you, you yelly-bellied deserter! I've crushed the souls of men ten times as tough as you and forgotten them by lunch. You'll do as I say, or rue the name Threepwood for the rest of your very short life! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's the ferocious, uh, green demon face? Threepwood wins with the nastiest mug <laughs> this side of the hypothalamus. Yes. Uh-huh. Fine, he wins. My vote is yours, but I've got my eye on you. Yes. Nice. Get right there. Okay, it's time. Hi there. We should be born now. What? In. Thanks for the vote. You're not welcome. <laughs> All right, call the vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well, gentlemen. Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, your vote is still yes? Uh-huh. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Yes! Roll out the red carpet and let it run with the blood of Threepwood's torment. <laughs> Ready to rack. Oil up the thumbscrews. <laughs> Man, you're something else, Santino. I say, yeah, my boy's got an eye for character. Nah, fine. 
I vote no. Hey, you said if I beat you in a pirate face-off, I'd be in like Flynn. Yeah, man, I think you gotta keep your end of the bargain on this one. Oh, all right, but only to maintain the integrity of the Brotherhood. Fucking nerd. Bureaucratic ethics win again. You have a Woo! unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically <laughs> united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. I accept. Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame! You guys should really have buttons. I think they'd be a hit. What you do receive is the honor of one of the Brotherhood's greatest responsibilities. Huh? Uh, yes? As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the cochlea. It's the key to our permanent vacay. Oh! You're just giving it to me? Got it with your life, brother. Oh? Yes! Let's go! Gonna save. So is that it? Do we just to go up? One cochlea procured. Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's booty. Let's go to the year canal. Go, pal. Whoa. Yes. I think we're back on course. I think I fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Yes. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come. How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they had the cochlea the entire time. I just pretended I wanted to join their stupid club and... My crew! Yeah, uh -oh. your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would have thunk? You betrayed us! Uh oh Uh... Yeah, I did kind of sell you guys out. We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, Bug Eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. Uh -oh. A double fine? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one. A double fine? Uh, what? You know, like some doubloons, but double the regular amount. But how do we determine the standard fine? Well, I'm not sure. Well, I suppose it's up to your discretion. Wouldn't it be less confusing to just settle on a larger upfront? That's enough! The only punishment is death. Kill him. Hey, yo. Morgan, doll, it's killing time. Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two. What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One. Oh, God. <laughs> and fight. I could use a hand. Ha! He wants help from a girl. Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? <laughs> Get him! It's go time, Morgan. I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Yeah, man. Treat a woman with respect, would you? Oh my god. I'm gonna... Ah, uh, the mutineers were calling you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. That sounds like Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> smite him, smite I'm sorry him. sorry about before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. You are capable. Now, please, show these mutineers your capabilities. Hell yeah. And? And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? 
Make him suffer. A snack. You should never enter a battle outnumbered on an empty stomach. <laughs> no. Faster minions, kid. Of course. You need my lucky ankle warmers. Can't run a man through with cold ankles. That's what my pa always said. <laughs> no, my ankles are fine. What I need is... I'm gonna what? Huh. What? Oh! Weapon privileges restored. <laughs> Uh-oh. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Rip pepperoni. Mutineers of the crew of Coronado de Cava. I would like to establish, <laughs> for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. So in essence, you've been woman-handled. Which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle oh, your yardum, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, honey bunch. Now, Coronado, how do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, mijo. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique formula of Panamanian prune juice, East Indian espresso beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. A few drops administered to the creature's digestive system should be our one-way ticket topside. Got it. A few drops in the biggest bile pool I can find. Okay. Done and done. Quick, everyone on board. Ooh. Hold on to your pantalones. <laughs> oh shit. Popo Express. <laughs> I swear if we somehow finish this chapter in time. Oh my god! This is how this, the thing went! Visit the sacred giant many teams mating grounds. Yuck! That could have been worse. Really? Just a quick trip up the blowhole. Manatees don't have blowholes. What? Then Oh, yeah. Yuck. <laughs> hey, about down there. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. No, well, yes, but I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Uh, nothing Aww. if not stylish. Anyway, I work alone. But you and I made a decent team. Hey, lovebirds, quit flapping your gums and get up here. My treasure sits mere fathoms away. <gasps> and my ship, the Howler Monkey. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern of La Esponja Grande. Now, if only my lawyer crew was worth a piece of eight, star crew member even had the temerity to expire. What's the problem? Santino <laughs> was not only a world-class swordsman, bullfighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the mating grounds. Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Is that so? Hell yeah. Yeah, it's a skill I developed in college. Well then, what are you <laughs> waiting for, Bucko? Oh shit! The sponge, and make it a snappy! Really weighs me down. <laughs> oh my god, this dude again? Hey, buddy. Yeah, I think this is the manatee we rode in on. He looks okay, considering. Hey there, uh, manatee. All right, good talk. <laughs> What the frick is this? Whoa, check out the ominous remains of dead giant sea creatures. Odd. 
Uh, let's see here. 6,000 doubloons, the jewel crown of Queen Archipelago. Oh, and a golden wrenchy thing. Score! <laughs> what? Leviathan country. All ocean life is dangerous. Do not approach or feed. Ancient Boudoir de Fact Preservation Society. Please stay on the path. <laughs> Finally, the home of La Esponja Grande. Uh oh. Uh oh. to mention the Guardian of La Esponja. What? What was it? A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow entire Corsairs. No. <gasps> Megalodon? Devil whale? Worse. The what doggy paddle. <laughs> Female, giant, manatee. A monster must be tamed, cheap whistle. <laughs> what, a rolled up newspaper? Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex, confounding, beautiful. Are we still talking about manatees? <laughs> I equipped my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. Alas, Santino was the only one who had learned to understand their song. You sort of put all your eggs in one basket, huh? Oh, what an explorer he would have made. You don't have some cockamamie plan for taking care of the Leviathan? Nothing. I originally spent three months fabricating a giant manatee suitor to be piloted by a crew of 15 men, <laughs> all well learned in the ways of bestial romance. What? But sadly, they were lost during a trial run, mashed like peas. Oh god! Yeesh. Santino wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How could he understand them? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, from his Oh my islands. god. The Marquis? Huh. Even if we could get the winds to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super absorbent prize. Well, sure, Santino could understand manatee, but how did he make those strange noises to communicate with them? With the tongue of the manatee, of course. What's the deal with you and manatee parts? <laughs> it's a device that I plan to market to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. It allows you to produce their sounds. Oh, so I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? I asked one of my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Let me guess. Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not to be wasted on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others, though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? Oh, I shit. imagine so. Okay, got it. Learn to communicate with the manatee, and La Esponja Grande will finally be within our glass. Okay. So I think this is a pretty good... Oh, that sounded very squishy. Uh, a pretty good ending spot for today. We made... Not as good progress as I hoped, but still good progress. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, like we're we're all just have to figure out how to make the sounds and which sounds to make, and I think that should be the end of this chapter. So we're. I imagine we're most of the way through it, so we should be able to finish it tomorrow and start the, the fourth one. Um, but yeah, thank you for hanging out. Also, I'm glad that this stream held up. We still lost like 4,000 more frames since the beginning of stream, but it's still like less than 2%, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I was worried that the stream was gonna go to shit. <laughs> Like, real hard. Uh, no, thank you for hanging out. Arr, Arr matey. 
Um, but, um, yeah, let me see. So, here's the Discord if anyone wants to join to see when we're going live. Here's the Twitter because. Oh, no, 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 I'm here myself. Nope, no, thank you. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and here's the, the YouTube scene, which I have to put uh, Monkey Island 3 still. But I may do that tomorrow. I may just leave all of that loading while I'm at home. Hmm, maybe. Um, R. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, let me. I think we'll just be ending. Um, pretty tired. It's been it's been a long weekend. We're dropping frames again, so that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, and I don't see anyone that, uh, to raid, really. So, I think we'll, we'll just talk now. Thank you for hanging out. Y'all are lovely. And, uh, yeah. We're back. Oh, I think we're back. Hello? Well, uh, yeah, just <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, and yeah, good night as well. You look great. And hopefully, see you tomorrow. Not sure though. Bye.